so you see today we will discuss about uh, three term okay one is insect resistance another one is insect resurgence and another one is your what insect what secondary pest outbreak okay you see uh, what is the definition of resistance development of an ability in a strain of insect to tolerate a dose of insecticide toxicant which would prove lethal to majority of the individual in a normal population of the same species so what it is telling suppose you see 100 number of insect are there in that what happen some strain that means suppose only 20 or 30 number of insect are there in that what happen they have developed one ability what ability they have developed suppose you are applying the same insecticide with a particular same dose only that won't give any kind of lethal effect to them but rest 80 will be affected by the insecticide with the same dose but this 30 or 20 percent will not be affected this is known as this ability is known as what your resistance understood yes sir okay next you see under division of entomology iri they have reported the insecticide resistance first time in which insect singhara beetle we already have discussed yes or no singhara beetle huh? galerisola birmanica suppose i will ask you bt against bt which insect uh, has developed resistance for the first time what i have told try to remember which insect developed resistance against bt for the first time that is your sir, hmm. sir uh, diamond black moth diamond black moth black yes moth. or no good okay that is a very very important question huh? you see this one also against singara beetle first time what happened uh, uh, singara beetle developed resistance against your insecticide understood then type of resistance simple cross multiple simple means what if resistance is only given to only one insecticide that is known as what your simple what is cross resisting insecticide of same group suppose i will tell only organophosphate in organophosphate different different insecticides are there like uh, chloroparifos is there yes or no malathion is there ddbp is there for it is there so here what will happen insect will be there giving resistance to this organophosphate insecticide it may be any kind of organophosphate insecticide what is multiple not only organophosphate but to organochlorines but to carbamate but to synthetic pyrethroid that is known as what your multiple resistance understanding yes sir yes simple sir. means only chloropyrifos cross means chloropyrifos and for it multiple means ddt will come your uh, uh, chloropyrifos will come their carbaryl will come isolan will come cypermethrin will come that is what your multiple phases in development of resistance what happens you see the first step is what less number of resistant insect in a population that means what happen out of 100 only suppose in case of 10 number of insect what happen resistance has been developed second step what will happen you see upon usage of the same insecticide at higher dose resistant individual will, individual will increase in number suppose this generation huh, what happen i have applied the insect what happen 100 out of 100 killed second generation what will happen out of 100 some 10 will survive third generation suppose again i am applying the same insecticide with same dose then what will happen this 10 will become 20 30 40 slightly what will happen the resistant individuals will increase in number how by reproduction yes or no yes sir gradually what will happen it will become more 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 and it will the insecticide will be ineffective understood yes sir okay then coming to your mechanism of resistance how these insects are developing resistance in their body huh? you see the first one is which one your physical mechanism what is the meaning first one you see detoxification what do you mean by de detoxification sir reducing the toxic material yes that means they have consumed or they have taken that insecticide inside their body now inside their body what will happen that will degrade into non-toxic compounds yes or no detoxify the toxicant by the enzymes or mixed functional oxidase what will happen the insecticide will break down into non-toxic compounds understood yes sir that means what is the meaning suppose one insect is resistant what is the meaning they have the detoxifying enzyme enzyme suppose an insect is susceptible that means they don't have the detoxifying enzyme understood yes sir okay next one is your what cuticular penetration what is that sir it penetrates the cuticle of the insect okay that means if resistance strain means that cannot yes or no due to presence of uh, this thick integument or due to presence of distal or thick pulphily or uh, 
what well developed wax layer what will happen the insecticide cannot enter in which insect resistant if that is susceptible easily they will enter yes or no yes sir next one is increased storage what is storage suppose you see they have consumed the toxin now they are storing the toxin and this toxin is unable to attack the insect that means adversely affect the insect in case of resistant strain what will happen they will store the toxic and compound separately which won't affect their physiology but susceptible means they cannot store if they store that will attack the insect also yes or no that is what your increased storage next you see increased excretion what is that if one insect is resistant means what they will do whatever the toxic and they are consuming that's that will be excreted out but if that is susceptible strain that will take more time or else they cannot uh, excrete that product next point is uh, user what penetration into target organs that means if an insect is susceptible then what will happen wherever the insect want to go and attack the nerve receptor suppose a mouth part they will uh, block that means very fastly it will attack but if that is a resistant strain it will be very slow these are all what your physiological what is happening inside their body now coming to behavioral what they will do avoidance of treated areas what is the meaning suppose you have applied some non systemic insecticide on the upper surface of the plant or upper layer of the plant what the insect will go they, they will go to the bottom portion of the plant they are avoiding the insecticide treated areas what is next you see decreased period of contact suppose one insect is resistance means what will happen suppose one insecticide is there and by mistake they went to that place what will happen immediately they will fly away okay where in case of resistant strain but susceptible means they will stay and they will be affected okay this is what your behavioral mechanism that means how this resistance is happening in the insect those things has been given here understood clearly or any doubt is there understood sir okay next you see insecticide residue okay what is insecticide residue what is paste residue can anyone tell what is paste residue sir after removal of all the paste the paste part present in the field sir or in the crop now after management whatever the insect are left in the field that is what paste residue which should be left in case of management yes or no now suppose yes, i will tell you what is insecticide residue then sir after applying insecticide how much the amount of insecticide left not in the first day yes or no after yes, a lapse of time okay how much amount of insecticide is left on the treated area that is known as what your insecticide residue very small quantity of insecticide that can remain in a crop after harvesting or storage and make its way into the food chain yes or no you see what is happening if the insecticide residue will be very high then what will happen it will be there in the fruit also if you are consuming that one it will enter into our body yes or no some insecticide continue to remain toxic for long period after application called as what your persistent residual action okay you see pyrethrum rotenone are less persistent pyrethrum is which one what is release from chrysanthemum flower good botanical insecticide from chrysanthemum what is rotenone roots of dairy selectica plant yes or no yes sir try to remember huh you see they are very less persistent that means very within very short period of time they will degrade into non toxic compound so these are highly safe for use but you see organochlorin like your ddt bhc they are highly persistent that's why they are now banned understood you see longer residual toxicity desirable for pest control but not safe to human being and animals yes or no here one terminology is there very very important maximum residue limit or residue tolerance level mrl ha huh? that uh, unit is ppm what do you mean by this you just tell me what is the meaning of this what is the maximum residue parts per limit? million hmm 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 parts per million okay this one you try to tell what is this maximum residue limit residue of what insecticide what is the maximum concentration of insecticide can be left on the treated area amount of the toxin residue that can be permitted to be present in or on the produce used by men that means suppose you are uh, what uh, providing this food to some uh, human being that means what is the maximum insecticide can be permitted in that particular food commodity when given for fast consumption or early consumption that is known as what your maximum residue limit clear
Yes, sir. Okay. So you see, malathion, cabbage, brinjal, it is 8 ppm because malathion is generally recommended for what your vegetables. Huh? That's why this uh, maximum residue uh, is given. You see, for cotton, yes, maximum residue limit, you do not have to count. For rubber, maximum residue limit, you do not have to count. Only for those where consumption is there, for them, you have to show the maximum residue limits. Next, you see, residue can be reduced by. How you can uh, reduce the insecticide residue in the food commodities? 20 to 25 percent by washing. Okay, they will be active. Getting my point or not? Yes, sir. That means, suppose today you have applied the insecticide, for how, so how much dose of insecticide can be permitted, how much milligram of dose of insecticide can be permitted, if he is consuming the food daily, torment condition according to the present data, it may be changing in the next year or after 10 years, but in the present scenario, this much of milligram of insecticide, if he is tracking every day, no appreciable risk will be there. But if more than that he is consuming, there may be some appreciable significant risk. What is the unit? Milligram per kg body weight per day. Next point you see last slide. You see insect resurgence. What do you mean by this insect resurgence? Sir, after uh, insecticide application, if abnormal increase in the pest population, sir. Good. That means abnormal means what is the meaning? They will cross even EIL level. Yes or no? Abnormal increase in pest population or damage followed by insecticide application. Yes, and often for exceeding the EI level is known as what your insect resurgence. Huh? Mainly noticed in Homoptera, Lepidoptera, Phytophagus, mites. Okay. Why it happens due to induced resistance in the insect, otherwise kill the natural enemies. That means either it will increase the resistance in the insect or it will kill the third trophic level of the insect. That is what your insect resurgence. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see, in case of rice, what happened? They have applied the insecticide to kill this BPH. Okay. Then what happened? No doubt BPH is kept under control. Okay. But what happened? Whatever the natural enemies were there, they were killed. Understood. But in natural, what happens? If mirid bug will be there, ladybird beetle will be there, spider will be there, automatically BPH can be reduced. But now what happened? These natural enemies were also killed by human being. For which what happened? BPH population is also increasing now. Another problem is what? In case of BPH, they produce more number of your what? Biotypes. That is also a problematic thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. Huh? Okay. Next, you see for which insecticide resurgence develop in which insect? Queen alphas, forate, carbaryl, delta methrin, methyl parathion, monocrotophus develop resurgence in which insect? BPH. Synthetic pyrethroids in aphid, whitefly, mite in cotton, carbaryl in case of mite on mango and brinjal. This one is very, very important. What is this? Synthetic pyrethroids develop resurgence in which insect? Simply you write down shocking paste. In case of shocking paste, what happens? If you are applying the synthetic pyrethroids again and again with same dose, their resurgence will be developed. Understood? Very, very important which may come in the exam. Understood or not? Yes, sir. One thing is resistance, another thing is resurgence, and the thing you told that is your secondary paste outbreak. Okay? What is resistance? Suppose 100 number of insects were there, where what is happening? At the beginning, what will happen? 20 will develop in such a way that nothing will affect them. Those you are applying the insecticide, nothing is happening to this particular insect. This is known as what your resistance. Understood? Yes, sir. This will become gradually 20, 30, 40, 50 like that. Huh? So, this resistance will only become resurgence when in high level. Resistance higher degree is what your resurgence. Here what is happening? Suppose what happened? 50 number of insects were there, you have applied the insecticide, after which what, it, what happened, this 50 became 200. Getting my point or not? Sir, again author, sir, take over the talk. Okay. Resistance means, you see, 100 number of insects were there, out of which what happened, 20 are such a in, uh, in such a way that 
even if you are applying the insecticide nothing is happening to them they are surviving and gradually what will happen they will become 30 40 like that they will become understood yes sir huh this is what your resistance higher degree of resistance is known as what your resurgence how you see so not 50 suppose 100 are there huh suppose 100 number of insect are there you have applied some insecticide for which what happened this became 300 in number getting my point that means what is the definition abnormal increase in the pest population after application of the insecticide often crossing the eil level understood yes sir it may be due to development of high level of resistance or may be due to killing of the natural enemies understood or not yes sir okay now coming to secondary pest outbreak what is this cotton bollworm complex was the major insect we have applied some insecticide to kill this bollworm no doubt bollworm is killed but then what happened the minor insect like your aphid okay jacid thieves they became the major pest this outbreak of the secondary minor pest when killed the major pest is known as what your secondary pest outbreak clearly understood or not yes sir hmm, this is what your secondary pest outbreak clearly understood yes sir huh? so these are the main three things huh? okay